folks and welcome back for another 4am <laughs> okay so I've came to um, realize now that these modifying modifiers um, they are pretty much just to do with animation and due to the fact that we haven't touched up on any an animation um, and I don't know a lot about it basically um, I'm just gonna go through now and basically just tell you um, what these do now. Um, if, any, if there's any of them that I can't do anything with, then I will do it. Um, but as, you haven't, as I say, I've, I haven't done any simulation or anything, um, any animation at all. So I really can't um, show you the full aspect of um, these modifiers, at least up to um, this one now, which is normal edit mode. Um, the normal edit modifier, sorry. This is another one that you'd have to use with animation. Now there is a few videos on YouTube, um, but actually there's one, um, which is, uh, I think it's by Daniel Kruter, I do apologise I've got that name wrong, um, but I think it's by him, let me just have a little look, yeah, Daniel Kruter, um, it's a nine minute or so video, um, but you know, that shows a little bit of what it can do, um, and he explains exactly what he's doing throughout his video. So, you know, I'll I'll put that description. Uh, I'll put the notes for um, for his address down in the description, so you can go and watch that video. But as I said on the other two, you know, on data transfer and the mesh cache, once again I get across to the animation. I will re redo these whole all these videos and show you how to use them all properly. But for now. Uh, we'll just learn the basics and learn exactly what it all does. Okay, so we'll just go on to normal edit. Um, I mean, I probably don't need the screencast keys here because I'm not really doing much, but just in case, you know. Okay, so um, once again, just following the, um, the script from Blender. Um, normal edit modifier affects or generates custom normals. It uses a few simple parametric methods to compute normals quite useful in game development and architecture areas so this is probably something that i mean everybody's looking at blender to try and create game assets and um, so this is probably going to be a really useful modifier to use so it would be helpful if i could actually get to use this one um so it's um quite useful in game development and architecture areas and makes mixes back those generated normals with existing ones Okay, so on our options here, so on old vest, um, we had normal edit, the data transfer come up, data transfer um, array comes up array, but on this one, when we're doing normal edit, it actually comes up as set split normals. Okay, so we have two options, we have radial and we have directional. Okay, the two modes currently available to generate normals. Radial aligns normals with the origin vertex coordinates vector. In other words, all normals seem to radiate from the given center point as if they were emitted from an ellipsoid surface. So I think what that would mean is this is this is your origin in the middle here. So the normals would come out, if you imagine this is like a, um, I don't know, a sun, the rays would come out like that from all directions. So I assume that's what that means. Um, directional makes all normal normals point converge towards a given target object. Okay, so if we have do, do, do. And so we have this other object here. The directional would make all normals point towards this being our object. So you would have this as our object here. Click directional and everything would um, converge towards this target because that is set as our target. 
Okay, um, so yeah, as I said, we, um, well, as I just pointed out, that's the target object is this little button here, which is where you pick your other object. Excuse me. Um, uses this object's center as reference point when generating normals. Optional in radial mode, mandatory in directional one. So it's in this one it is optional. I assume that's why them ones light up. Oh, I do apologise for been drinking too much coke. Um, on radial, um, yeah. So target object um, uses this object centre as reference point when generating normals. Optional in radial mode, so these three light up. Mandatory in directional, so that'll give you the choice. That one doesn't give you the choice. It just does it automatically for you. <coughs> then we have parallel normals makes all normals parallel to the line between both objects centers instead of converging apologies about that um, instead of converging towards a target's center okay so once again in radial doesn't light up in directional it does um, and again it says so yeah i am only relevant in directional mode Okay, so that says to me they'll come across rather than all down straight to its point in the middle. So rather than all, f um, what was that word, converging towards the radial, um, towards the origin, sorry. Rather than them all going to the origin, they will go straight across. Um, again, that's just my interpretation of it. Next, we have the offset which as I say is only available as ra in radial mode because in radial mode it's optional for your target object so that's why they light up um, offset gives modified objects a center and offset before using it to generate normals um, only relevant in radial mode if no target object is set and in directional mode when parallel normals is set Okay, so we have next is mix mode, which is this here. You have, um, let's have a little look at this. Mix mode, how to affect existing normals with newly generated ones. So again, it's going to go back to when we were doing the mesh cache and um, our data transfer. You can copy it, you can add it, subtract it, or you can multiply it. So that's, um, let's have a little look. Note the multiply option is not a cross product, but a mere component by component multiplication. Mix factor, how much of the generated normals get mixed into existing ones. And then we have our vertex groups. Allows per item fine control of the mix factor. Vertex group influence can be reverted using the small arrow button to the right. Is there so that inverts? And then we have just a little a brief description of the usage. This modifier can be used to quickly generate radial normals for low poly tree foliage, or fix shading of tune-like rendering by partially bending default normals. The only mandatory prerequisite requisite to use it is to enable auto smooth option in mesh properties normals panel so basically what that means is so prerequisite means that um, basically you have to do something before doing this and that is you have to enable auto smooth so if auto smooth is not enabled this modifier will not work okay more complex normal manipulations can be achieved by copying normals from one mesh to another and for that see data transfer modifier so as i say you know this does it, it is for animation so 
this is probably something you would use alongside the data transfer okay so that's pretty much going to be that tutorial on that um, as i say you know apologies that i can't show you everything on there um next we'll have the uv project and hopefully i can show you a little more on that one and be able to do a full video of that so as always if you want to like um comment subscribe that's absolutely fine and um, once again you know if you comment then that and um, that will help me along and it'll help everybody else along as well and i'd like to if you just bear me one second we have a i have a subscriber on my new page now so i'd like to say thanks for that and i also got a com um a comment of um i believe it's shampoo wow so i would like to just say thank you very much for that and you know hopefully we get a lot more subscribers and a lot more comments and keep following and keep up to date thank you very much